It is time. We've completed all the races. Campaign. All that's left to do is that thing I paid an extra $5 for, and that is the thing at the bottom here. The Lewis Hamilton Time Trial Challenge, a mode where you can try your hand at breaking some of Lewis Hamilton's records. That's not going to happen, but I'm going to try. <laughs> So uh let's just let's just open this up and uh do what we get. I forget if we get like a cutscene or anything here. We don't, okay. But yeah, this was the only like paid DLC of the game, and um Well here it is, here's the menu. So we have multiple time trials to do. Uh several actually, let's see. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten to do. Uh all of them except the last one are in the Mercedes SLS AMG Group 3 car. Last one's in the fucking Sauber. Um, and yeah, uh, these are very fucking difficult. <laughs> Not because Lewis has his own, uh, his own fastest lap time, but the actual, like, GT lap times are fucking brutal. So we're just going to go down the list, starting at Dragon Trail, Seaside. Uh, Lewis's, let's see. So Lewis's fastest lap is a 137.094. The gold lap is a 138. Uh, I've never got the gold on this in my uh, previous playthrough of this game. So uh, this will be interesting. Also, this is not an SLS, it's just the Mercedes AMG GT3. Got my uh, model name wrong. Oops. This is also going to take a while here, specifically because this is going to be my warm up, so. Um, yeah. We are locked to racing hards, unfortunately. I'm going to turn TCS off. I might have to turn it to 1 to give me a little extra rip out of the slower corners. We'll see. Um, but yeah, not only we have the bronze, silver, gold times. Uh, if we beat Lewis's time, we get a diamond ranking. I'm not going for the diamond ranking. If I get close enough, I might grind it, but my goal is gold. Oh, hey, it actually has my previous best lap. Uh, 138.5 is the best I could do last time. Let's see what I can do this time. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. Hi, Lewis. We also get Lewis's ghost. Just to rub salt in the wound. I said this is going to be... This is my... Warm-up, so... This is probably going to take multiple tries just to get close to what, uh, the time I need. I'm already three tenths down off of Lewis. So Lewis's time is about almost a full second faster than the gold time. We can use that as a delta. Luckily, we do have a live delta. Uh, that's kind of hard to see because of the car. So. It's like he's one of the best drivers in the world or something. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah. Alright, I'm already way off. Oh boy, the chicane. Oh. Hard tire moment. He's so fast through that fucking chicane. Hands is good. This is also the Lewis Hamilton cam. This is how he drives in racing games. With a wheel. <clears throat> Shout out. Hashtag blessed. Alright, first attempt. 39.5. So, that's one second. Time. Oh yeah. that's We're going to be hearing that a lot, by the way. Good job. Uh, <clears throat> I think if you hit it hard enough, you get a penalty, Mora. If you hit the wall hard enough, but um. So yeah, one second off of my PB to start. Uh, now begins the grind. 
Um, what's his face? Uh, Petter Solberg. That's who you're thinking of, Q. That's the other uh, chase cam wheel driver. Oh, now I have two ghosts, because I, now I have my PB ghost. So. The grind begins. I've completely blown the first chicane. All right. Everything's gone wrong this lap. They shit to us no more. Bro, the people who are trying to like backseat and gatekeep actual racing drivers, I think people are actually like trying to tell Petter how to that he's wrong. Imagine trying to gatekeep a fucking or backseat or whatever, a a real life world rally champion. This man's dick is bigger, is bigger than yours could ever you could ever imagine yours to be, and you're being a dick to him. You shut the fuck up. So I think one of the spots where I'm gonna be able to, where I'm really gonna like gain and lose the most time is the chicane, the bus stop, because it is a very tight line between like nailing it and losing like half a second. Alright, I gained a bit of time on myself. The second half to lap after blowing the first half, so not bad. That's but I a didn't. Great time. That's a great time. Thanks, Lewis. Alright, YouTube audience. I'll, I'll be back whenever I get the gold, I guess. Nope. <laughs> that ain't it. Bus stop is so damn precise. Oh. Alright, well, that could have been a lot better. Already on the back foot. Oh, I actually found the apex of that turn. Incredible. <laughs> Just use rewind. run. <laughs> Understandable test drive. On all the throttle. Oh, this might be the gold run. Oh, this is absolutely the gold run. Yes! One wow. down. I'm impressed. Very impressive. Yeah, thanks, thanks Lewis. I'm not going for Lewis's time. Not doing it. That took way too much effort just to run eight tenths slower than him. Holy shit, a million credits. Goddamn. Alright. Hey, I've done the daily workout. <laughs> so there's our first one done. Oh, shit. I think I think the DLC raised the cap, maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll find out once I get two more golds. I want to say the DLC raised the money cap, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, uh, one down, nine to go. Time for Maggiore. So uh, let's go to Maggiore. My best lap here previously was a 56.8, and I need a 57 flat for gold. So I have golded this in the past. Lewis's time is a 55.455, so... Uh, so 
so a little over a second and a half faster than the gold time. All right. Do I need to change the uh, TCS every time? Yeah, I do. I'll just do it manually in the fucking MFD. Fuck it. All right. Let's get our let's get our uh, base lap in. Probably miss every breaking point. So if I was able to do this in the past, this means this shouldn't be as difficult as uh, Dragon Trail to gold. We shall see, though. And the Delta target is plus 1.5 seconds, so... Congratulations on being able to trail break Lewis. I can't do fucking do that. Oh my god. Cool. Honestly, the worst part about this is the fact we're on racing hard. If this is on mediums, this would be so much better. Lewis got so far ahead that they had to reset him. God damn it. Hate it here. I did royally fuck up, though, so. Understandable. <laughs> Absolutely cut the uh, apex of the chicane, or the chicane, the hairpin. Very much an accident. Actually trying to learn from Lewis's ghost about how to take these turns. Could have carried way more speed through there. Holy shit! All right, first lap, two minutes point two. Good job. <laughs> like, oh, you got bronze. Oh, good, good job, I guess. Okay. Let's let's go for silver first, I guess. Baby steps. I mean, the challenge is hard enough with Lewis actually staying within track limits. Besides, people who uh, abuse track limits to gain an unfair advantage have the smallest penises. They have micro penis energy. Fuck them. this shit legit unless I accidentally cut the track. All my track cuts are <laughs> unintentional. Reaper, uh, now that you're here, I have something to share with you. Right, shoot. Uh, so I finally started reading Dragon Ball. Um... Did not know that Bulma just fucking rolls up in a Renault 5 Turbo. Wasn't aware of that. That was that was a uh, culture shock. That's all. That's all I want to report. This might be the run. Hey, it is. All right, cool. Wow, I'm impressed. That was a sloppy as fuck lap, though. I, I just ranted about how people like intentionally abuse track limits for gain, and that was a lot of unintentional track limit abuse. That was very sloppy. 
But it's the gold, so... We'll take it. We'll take it. Two down. I didn't even beat my old PB. Bullshit. Oh no, we're just going for gold. I am not diamonding these. I am not... I... I wholeheartedly admit that I'm never going to be nearly as good of a driver as Lewis Hamilton. I'm okay with that. I'm glad to admit that. Anyways, we're going to Brands Hatch next. 24-4 is the best I've done. That was only four tenths off the gold, so... Maybe. Lewis ran just over a second faster than the gold time, so... Oh yeah, there's like these driving tips videos. We should watch one of those. Maybe if I remember, I might watch the one for the next track. Or we can just watch it now. I just want to see what it's like. Brands Hatch GP circuit is awesome. Uh, one of my favorites of when I used to race in the UK. It's, uh, I, I used to race it in Formula 3, and obviously they used to have the Formula 1 back in the day. Um, much, much prefer this to the short circuit, which was just too short. But this has a great combination of corners and also a lot of undulations. So as you're breaking into turn one, the track's falling away from you and it's hard to see the apex and when to get back to power. And it kind of fools you into either carrying too much speed in or getting to power too early. So that's uh, such a tricky uh, corner. And then you're going up into turn two, then down into turn three. So it's got a great combination and the uphill and downhill really plays a role in how late you can break or how early you have to break. Um, there are a couple of corners that it's all about uh, the exit, I think, is probably around turn four or five, which is you're accelerating uphill, and it's all about making sure you carry speed down that straight. But it's got a great combination of fast-flowing corners, which I'm sure you're going to love. So um, make sure you enjoy it. Thanks, Lewis. We should watch the uh, the guides to the other tracks. Oh, well. Um, I mean, would you not want to be rewarded for beating Lewis's time, Felio? <laughs> I certainly would want to be rewarded for beating Lewis's time. I don't see how that's a bad thing. That is a... It's not even remotely a bad thing. Alright, Brands Hatch. This track scares me, so I'm gonna take it easy in this first lap. Now, did I actually retain anything Lewis said about the track? No. Absolutely not. Yeah, Brands Hatch is very spooky. Also, I disagree with Lewis. I, I prefer the Indy circuit versus the Grand Prix circuit, but, you know... One of the greatest Grand Prix drivers of all time versus some fucking nerd in... Oh, you in his room. Beatable. It is. People have beaten it. So it clearly is beatable. Just because it's a very, very difficult challenge does not mean it's impossible. Just because I'm not good enough to beat it doesn't mean literally everyone else isn't good enough to beat it. Oh, Lewis got reset again. Got too far ahead. <laughs> You're the best driver. Man, I wish I lived in the uh, the alternate universe where that was true. All right, twenty six one for my first That's lap. That's a great time. At least I got silver. That's cool. Um. Okay. Well, let's improve upon that. And hopefully, get the gold. Guess what? I nailed Druids and I fucked up the next turn. Take a drink.
No. That was going so well. Oh no, this is GT. Uh, this was loose on GT Sport. He actually set this time in the video game. Oh, I got a good run. This might be it. Yes! Ha ha ha! Three down, motherfuckers! Wow. I'm impressed. Hell yeah! That was difficult. <laughs> oh, not only 925 grand? Oh. Hey, I found the uh, I found the money cap. It is 20 million. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, we got three golds. Seven to go. <sighs> Alright, Willow Springs is next. Oh boy, I remember this one being a pain in the ass as well. Okay, maybe not, because I actually got the gold on this in the previous playthrough. Alright. So, 112 is the gold time. 111.3 is Lewis's time. 111.7 is my PB. Yeah, spend all the money. I'm going to intentionally not spend the money. Just because I know it'll upset the, uh, the, the virgins. Oh, there's no lap guide for Willow Springs? This is bullshit. Oh, let's go. Get a bank time in. Oh, that's, that's front brake. I want rear brake. Oh, I forgot to adjust my TCS. No, no, MFD. Okay. We're good. I lost all the time in the world, but it's it's fine. All right, it's fine. Anyways, well, you can speak for yourself. Uh, the answer for me, though, is yes. You, Jesus Christ. Okay, decent first attempt. I am slower, I'm, I'm on silver pace, but decent first attempt. Can I full throttle this? Answer is yes, with ease. All right, one twelve seven for our first lap. That's a great time. Not bad. Not bad. Now let's improve upon that. Oh, 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 This might be it, this might be it, this might be it, this might be it. Fuck yeah, okay, there we go, I can wow. finally go piss. I'm impressed. Thanks, Lewis, I'm glad you're impressed. Oh, my God. Oh. Look 
click. So I can click links now since I'm on console. All right. Whew. I didn't be beat my old PB, but I don't give a fuck. All right, that's four down. Four? Four. Next up is Suzuka, but I, I really got to piss. I'll be back. I feel better. Let's go to Suzuka and feel worse. Because Suzuka is a difficult track in general. Not, not, not just when I'm trying hard. Oh boy. Alright, so. Our target here is a 2 minute flat. The best I could do was a 2.013 apparently. That instills me with fear. And Lewis has done a 158.5. So, uh. Oh boy. This will be interesting. So the the delta cutoff is one and a half seconds. Slower than Lewis. Let's watch this. Some driving tips from Lewis Hamilton. Suzuka is one of my favorite circuits. They don't seem to make circuits like they used to do it back in the day. This circuit is a figure of eight. It's the only figure of eight circuit that I've ever experienced. I'm pretty sure it's probably one of the only ones. You're accelerating down uh, the main straight and it's downhill. Then you're coming through and up through the S's. Flat out through here. Um, all the way up to turn eight, which is for me probably one of the hardest circuits because it's just a tap of the brakes and you've got to choose the right turning point. And you're dipping at the apex and braking for turn nine. So you've got a, an incredible combination of corners and it's quite high speed. There's only one two slow speed corners on there so um i hope that you enjoy it as much as i do the racing there is definitely one of the best and also one of the most challenging circuits um because it's all about particularly in that first sector it's all about getting the flow of how much you push through the corner how much you push uh, how much you keep the minimum speed up um so that's something i would just say really focus on, on practicing mm -hmm. making sure you're hitting your apexes here um as it will enable you to get to fourth order quicker Thanks, Lewis. I'll keep that in mind, question mark. I don't know. All right, Suzuka time. We're just, we're just moving the brakes to the rear immediately. Let's see what kind of lap I get on my first attempt. While not knowing any of the braking points, the corner speeds. Guide me, Lewis, Sir Lewis Hamilton. That's something nice after one. Okay, I won't. No! That doesn't count. <laughs> We're gonna try that again. We're gonna roll it back. Fuck. <laughs> I need to try to get a good exit there. I'm already on the back foot at the start of the lap. Nice and smooth. has grip now. Good. Right, flick. Skid. Sure. Oh, 
Oh my god. How early do I need to break for the hairpin? Jesus. Alright, well there goes seven seconds. First gear was a bad idea, by the way. Oh, hi, Lewis. He's all the way over there. Ah, uh, light on brakes again, goddammit. Hi, Lewis. Oh, my God. Two oh eight three. Uh, no good. Practice more. <laughs> Damn, all right. Shit. Sorry, Lewis. God. Trying to have as straight of an exit as possible the chicane. Do you have a fast start to the lap when I keep fucking it? That was a terrible start. I found the apex. At least there's that. <laughs> Tiny bit of oversteer. Ooh, that was a good exit. Holy shit. That was a really good exit. Stay back, ghost. Ghost of my past. I'll take that a little slow. Oh, that's enough. All right, that's the gold. Boom. Okay, that was, uh... Wow. I'm impressed. Honestly, I'm impressed at how... easy within context that was. Wasn't easy at all. But within the context of this challenge, it was pretty easy. I like I'm just not earning money anymore. <laughs> Very funny. Can't wait for the angry comments. Okay. 59885. Suzuka conquered. We're halfway through the time trial. Let's go. Five down, five to go. Monza's next. Certainly is a racetrack. So, 148 gold. Lewis has a 146.9. Nice. Nice lap, Lewis. Fastest person on my friends list has a 46.4. Jesus. All right, Lewis, what do you got for this? Monza is known for being uh, a very historic circuit, being that in the olden days they had the banked uh, circuit, which is still there in uh, the midst of the trees and everything. 
um, and the banking was incredible. I wish that we could still use that today. But the track that we get to race today is still pretty epic. It's, it's unique in its own way, being that it's obviously shaped like a boot, and uh, it's all boot. long straights and very, very slow chicanes um, and the small Lesmos at the back. But it's a real great combination of corners, and it's very fast. So it's really all about the exit, the speed you carry into the corner, but mostly sacrificing a bit of the speed into the corner to make sure you get to full throttle sooner. The sooner you can get to full throttle, the speed that you carry down the straight pays dividends. And it's a heavy braking circuit as well, being that you're braking from high speed most of the time to almost a standstill in the chicanes. And you do need to be quite aggressive on some of the curbs here. And yeah, it's just really about trying to find that balance, as I said, between going too fast in or too slow out or too slow in and, and fast out. Um, but I love this track and crazy enough as I'm recording this, I'm about to go and race there this week. So uh, I hope that you enjoy it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. TLDR. TLDR. Uh, Monza is a racetrack of all time. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm not... Oh, that's front brake. I'm not going to put nearly as much rear brake into this thing as I have been, because it's fucking Monza. Everything is a <laughs> extremely heavy braking zone. Alright, they must have changed, like, the, uh... <laughs> the, the power or the drag on this car <laughs> after Lewis ran his times, because I was out-dragging him. Down the main straight, that's funny. Oh wow, Lewis, just fucking gobble the curves, though, why don't you? Fucking hell. Woo! Bad exit. Very bad exit. Now my arch nemesis, Ascari. Running over those little sausages like it ain't no thing. First try, okay. Wow, I'm impressed. Monza is stupid. <laughs> Monza's easy. This track sucks. I only want fucking there you go. An easy challenge, I don't understand what the problem is. I'm still not going for a uh, platinum, but Anyways, now to a much more interesting circuit, Mount Panorama. Oh my god, Mount Panorama. All right. <sighs> Gotta beat a 203 here. Fucking hell. And Lewis once again with the second and a half uh, faster time. Dude, shout out to Arthur with a 2 minute point nine. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> actually cracked. Alright, let's go. Let's, let's go to the mountain. Uh, good start. Good start. Good start. 10 out of 10. Alright, maybe a little less rear brake. Tiny bit less. I 
the 12 hour here is coming up soon, ain't it? Next month. In this type of car. That was a wall, by the way. Not supposed to hit those. Oh no, you can adjust the brake balance uh, in real time. Welcome back, Lutz. So if I want a little more rear brake, I just uh, push the button. If I want a little more front brake, I just uh, push the button. I love his bottles. <laughs> that was an okay first lap, I guess, other than that half spin at hell corner. It wasn't too bad. 2049. That's a great time. Decent start, honestly. Now, let's go two seconds faster. Probably not immediately. I didn't Lewis didn't get too far away from me that the game had to put a fucking move his ghost back. So if you ha can't haven't noticed yet, I am doing brake bias adjustments depending on the turn. I am trying. Oh, that's a wall. Fucking millimeter perfect going up the mountain. Let's go along. This whole section is like Laguna Seca's core screw, but on crack. It's incredible. currently on gold pace by like three tenths. Alright, didn't get a good exit of the chase, but I had a really good entry. And final corner, Murray's. Small cheeky cut. I believe that's going to be a sub 203. Yep, there it is. 20275. Wow, I'm impressed. All right, other than the couple wall bangs, that was pretty good. Pretty good lap. I have conquered the mountain to the extent that I want to conquer it. You know what? I'm going to save this replay. I might use that as the thumbnail. Who knows? All right, so that's uh, that's Bathurst done. Um, we have three more to go. Two more in the uh, the Mercedes or the, uh, the 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 GT3. So next up is Interlagos. One thirty-two. Second slower than Lewis.
Frauen. Nice video. Uh, speaking of video, there's a video for this track. Let's watch it. Interlagos is an incredible One of my favorite circuits um, in the way. Quite unique. It's, it's a, an anti-clockwise circuit. Uh, Brazil's unique in the sense that, you know, you've got great colors there. It's got great culture. Brazil moment. And um, when you're there, for example, you really do feel the atmosphere. But driving the track in itself, it's really about also getting the flow. It's quite a short circuit. They got the long straight for the for the main start, which is great driving up the hill, and um, and then down and then up against up into turn one. And you got a very long, long steep turn one, which is hard to get the right braking point and the right point in which you have to come off the brakes and get the right line to set you up into turn two, so you can be full gas through two and three, um, and then it's heavy braking into four, uh, and then you're braking up through turn six and seven, which takes you into eight. Um, which it takes you into a real tight complex of corners, a left hand and a right hander. And then again, another nice downhill. Dude, I can't wait to spin the car a million times at the intersection. You don't break too late in there so you can get a good exit. Um, so it's a, it's a track that I have a lot of history on and one that I really, really do love. Um, and maybe some of you will remember the history we have uh, there in 2008. So I hope that you enjoy it. Um, this one's really just about it's not so much really about braking, it's really just about the minimum speed you carry through the corners. He really did reference his that Glock, okay. Interesting. Anyways, alright, Interlagos, let's go. Let's see how I do. My first attempt. Breaking at the hunter board. Lewis broke just a tiny bit later. Understeer. Alright, so the target is one second slower than Lewis. I hate how deceptively tight this turn is every fucking time. You think I would know by now with all the hundreds and maybe thousands of laps I have around here. Whoops. Oh, there's our there's our first penalty. Oh my god, this car has no fucking grip. Now I have too much rear brake. Turned my blinker on accidentally. Shit. I'm balling on my tires. They suck. They're not dead, they just suck. Hi, Lewis. <laughs> oh, that's first gear. I thought that was second. Whoops. That was one gear lower than I thought it was. So before the penalty, uh, 34-7. Good job. Then they added a second to it. So. Eh. That was a terrible lap, so. There's definitely a ton of room for improvement. It was going well until that turn just decided to... It just refused. car said no. The turn also said no. Using the curb to rotate the car. <laughs> I was actually using the oversteer induced by that curb to get me around the corner. <laughs> Let's go. If it works, then it's stupid. It's not stupid. Very true. Alright, so Lewis is kind of surprisingly slow through this intersection. Like 
I kept up with him through most of that. And then let's fuck up the final turn, which is the most important turn. And there goes the gold. Probably. Maybe. Oh, well, actually, no. I'm not going that much slower than Lewis. This might still be the gold. Oh, yeah. There we go. Wow. I'm impressed. All right, that didn't take too many tries. Dude, once we, once we got past Willow, this has actually been fairly smooth. I'm not going to lie. Willow was a pain in the ass. Every track afterwards has not been nearly as terrible. Let's go. All right. Final lap in the Group 3 Mercedes. Willow was very hard. We're going to the Nürburgring, Ring. The Grand Prix circuit. So, 156.5 is the goal, is the target. Lewis has a 55.3. A 1.2... <laughs> Just a little under 1.2 seconds, so like we'll say 1.1 is the delta. Or the target delta. So, uh, what kind of driving tips do, do we have from Lewis Hamilton for this track? The Nürburgring GP circuit is my second favorite in Germany. We also have the Hockenheim Grand Prix, but honestly, the Nürburgring circuit's just a little bit more fun. It's got more corners, it's longer. It's got a great combination of uh, fast flowing corners as well. And I love a track that has a lot of the undulations. So, you know, you're breaking down into turn one, you're up into turn two, you're down back into turn three. Sector one's gonna be the death of me. Six, you're downhill, then you're uphill up into seven and eight. And, um, Really this cool one's really map. about heavy braking. It's about um, you know making sure you're getting those exits. The first corner is obviously I think quite tough, and uh, but the minimum speed you carry through there and getting on the power up into two is um, probably one of the toughest parts of the circuit. Also hugging the apex in turn three, for example, is always quicker, and getting back to the left for the turn four so you can carry lots of speed through four. Um, keep going on but uh, I'm going to leave you to go and enjoy it but this is a, a track that I really do in love and I've had some crazy experiences here where it rained um, when I was in Formula 3 but also when I was in Formula 1 and think, I think it was 2007, 2008 where it rained heavily um, and also I had a big bit crash here so go and enjoy it um, and make sure this is a track you just got to practice and practice and practice to get the right lines you can tell this is definitely uh, loosely if not completely unscripted he just kind of rambles a bit. All right. To the Neubergring. Let's go. -y. Track limits are loose. Good thing I don't give a shit. I'm staying within the track limits. What do I lose? <laughs> Thank you, Caro. Uh, there you go. There's your answer. All right. Turn one. Flat through here. Turn two. Flat through here. This is a George Russell time trial. Turn three. Flat through here. Turn four. Flat through here. I'm done with this joke. Oh, hairpin. I lived. All right. Well, that was shit. <laughs> that was a terrible run through the the Schumacher S. Yes. Falling apart. Did really good through that middle sector. Now it's just everything. Oh, yeah, well, okay. Hi, Lewis. Welcome back.
And our first lap is a 58.1. That's a great time. Only 1.6 seconds off. We'll, 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 here we go. <sighs> One tenth away. Taking such a colossally different line from Lewis in turn two. It's working out though. For me. And then I fuck up the rest of Sector 1. Sector 1 sucks. through the ass. I'm never going to be able to do that again. This might be it. It is it. All right, cool. That was close. Wow. Thought I lost it on the last turn. Just got it. Gold. Yay. We've golded all the GT3 trials. Now for the fun part. Time for the tenth and final one. Nordschleife. Mercedes C9. Oh boy. 546. I'm sweating. 546 is... I'm taking a shower after the stream. But, uh... So, Lewis... Lewis's lap is almost five and a half seconds faster. We'll say 5.4 is our del delta. Um, apparently I tried this once and got a 555. <laughs> Fun fact. All right, Lewis. The Nürburgring Nordschleife. This track is the longest track in the world and the toughest track in the world. So. Of all the tracks you're doing on this game, there's no way that you're going to have one that's even tougher than this one. Remembering each sector is really probably key. Um, I've had the experience of driving there back in the day when I was in Formula 3. Um, we were actually racing on the GP circuit, but in the evening I got to go and take my smart car around the track, which as you can imagine took forever. But really just remembering corner after corner after corner because it's at least a five, six minute lap. Um, for me, it was a lot longer than that in the smart car, but it's really just about trying to put those sectors together. So the way I practice is chop it up into four, five sections if you can. And, um, and it's really just about knowing the position that you need to have the car per corner and repetition practice on this lap is definitely... I caught the understeer. The so understeer yeah, in that clip. Uh, I definitely love driving this track. As, as I said, it's my favorite. I hope it's the favorite for you. I mean, I like the track. Yeah, we're going to be here a while, probably. All right. Against better judgment, I'm going to turn TCS off. I'm sure I'm sure they'll bite me in the ass. But, uh... Nordschleife, here we go. Time for the... F this is the finale of GT Sport. This is our final challenge. 
Oh boy. Oh yeah. The lack of TCS immediately. Oh my god. Okay, first things first, I need to get used to this car, because I've been driving the Mercedes off the the uh the GT3 all night. So that's the first hurdle. And there's our first Lewis reset. Count the resets. Wear shoes, socks, or barefoot. I wear socks. It's comfy. A track limit penalty? What the fuck? And there's reset number two. We're already out of gold range. I just wear socks because I hate being barefoot in general. Uh, and shoes are uh, too annoying. There's reset number three. Wow. Oh, what the... How... Okay. I did not expect to be able to actually hold that much speed around that corner, but here we fucking are. Getting that GT7 downforce, and then I fucking died. Alright. And that's 655 or 555. I set. There's reset number four. We're in the faster corners where the downforce really kicks in. It's not too bad, but in the slower shit is pain. Did I just pass the ghost of Lewis Hamilton? Did I actually go faster than Lewis through that section? Hold up. Hold the fucking phone. Oh, here he comes. He's back. Flat through here.
steel toe in stilts. Five miles per hour. Almost two thirty. Holy shit. All right, there's my first attempt. Five fifty nine. Thirteen seconds, almost fourteen seconds off target. Holy fuck. I can't do it, Sprinkle. I cannot heal toe. I don't know how fucking GP laughs does it so naturally. Alright, here we go. Uh, car, why did you just lose all of your- okay. It just- it stopped having downforce. It just stopped having downforce. The fucking- the, the switch got flipped. Alright. That was so weird. Uh, dirty tires, probably. That, that didn't help, definitely. Oh, God. Well, that's the furthest I've made it so far in the second attempts, at least. The second lap attempts. trick to that corner. Come for you bum, Lewis. I lifted just so I could actually set up for this corner. <laughs> that braking zone is terrifying. Oh, fuck my ass. No! They revived. Hey, that's cool. You know what wasn't cool? Losing a second to Lewis in that section. But it happened. I can give up up to 5.4 seconds. That's about the gold delta. Thought I was dead there. Dude, there's an anime by, about Microsoft Excel? Okay. That's a joke. That turn does literally downshift, crank the wheel, and pray. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else you can do there.
fast. This is gonna get reset here. Yep, there he goes. a second on Lewis through that section. Holy shit. I lost almost all of it immediately, but... Oh, okay. My balls were not large enough for that corner, apparently. We are very much on AO pace, test drive. Got about two and a half seconds to spare. Just gotta get to the finish line. Just one more series of corners to go and Gran Turismo Sport will be completed. Oh, I thought I was going to blow it because of how much I was closing on Lewis on the brakes. Now we're good. And there we go. GT Sport done. Wow, I'm impressed. Fuck. All right, I'm not going for Diamond. I probably could actually get Diamond if I grind it for like an hour, but... I'm not doing that. <laughs> I ain't doing that. No, thank you. Because I definitely could gain that extra, like, three seconds on Lewis or whatever. I'm going to save this replay, too, because I don't know which one I want to use. <sighs> that was a fun lap. That was a really fun lap, honestly. Oh, all gold achieved for Lewis Hamilton Time Trial Challenge. Hey, we got a gift card. Oh, hey, it's this F1 car. Hey, look at that. Too bad I already had one. <laughs> I mean, well, I had the uh, the color change version, but I think... No, I think I had this one. I don't know. We have, we have another Lewis car. That's cool. All gold, baby. Oh, we're getting another car for silver. Okay. Oh, hey, it's the, uh, the... The Sauber. Let's go. Bought the pink one. That makes sense. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. And another car for bronzing. Okay. Unsurprisingly, it's the uh, the AMG GT3. This this shocks me not. Very nice. All gold and lose Hamilton time trial. Prize money limit has been increased to 100 million. Hey. Let's go. Oh, I got 20 million credits. Yeah, that just gets automatically applied. All right. So, uh, upon golding this, our, our money cap has been raised from 20 million to 100 million. And I also got an extra 20 million. Let's go. 40 million credits, baby. Oh, yeah. Also, my daily workout car. I never uh, claimed that. I got that immediately. It would be hilarious if I got the fucking Red Bull. I did not get the Red Bull. I got the Peugeot. RCZ Group B. Okay. There's our final car. Ugh. And I guess, for our final thing, let's, let's claim this achievement, because I got 50 million prize credits total. Wow. Wow. And that, with that, 
timer stop. <laughs> 126 hours of Gran Turismo Sport, and we are done. GT League, the, this stuff's 100%. GT League's 100%. I've 100% of the arcade and all of its tracks. Yeah. Uh, a little scroll through there. Lewis Hamilton's golded. I'm not going for diamonds. I feel like I have to constantly repeat that because I know I'm going to get comments. Why didn't you go for good diamond? I said it a million times. So... Uh, first of all, let's look to see how, what car I drove the most. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it was the, it was the Porsche Endurance car. Very cool. Porsche, yep. How about number of wins? I have 10 wins in this and the Viper. Alright. Shout out to my garage and all of its weird custom liveries. Well, apparently I I had the actual Lewis version of his F1 car. But yeah, it is a dupe. Shout out to the random people whose liveries I downloaded off of them. It is a Tostito 787. Very funny. A lot of these liveries popped off. I love the fucking Subaru painted Nissan R92. So that's a personal favorite. Anyways, uh, my menu. I drove 10,400 miles in this game. We reached driver level 44, which... Great. 44 cars purchased... I've made 70 million in prize credits and 117,000 mileage points. This is a life log. Oh, it's all my, like, achievos. My actual achievements. So I got... I didn't max out all of them. I actually only maxed out three of them. <laughs> These are all online, so they don't count. This is pretty much Played this game on 31 different days to do this. What fucking liveries do I have in my gallery? I guess nothing. Okay, cool. So, uh... Yeah. There's GT Sport. It's done! It's done. I don't have to worry about this game shutting down before I have a chance to finish it. Hooray. 126 hours. I think that's actually less time than GT3. I have the statistics. It was... Uh, yep, GT3 was 135 hours. This is 9 hours short, or shorter than GT3. <laughs> Very funny. Ugh. But there we go. Gran Turismo Sport is finally finito. Finally. I don't know how long this has taken me. But... This game's fucking easy, but it was a very necessary reset for the franchise. And hey, I have 100 percent of it for the first time, so that's pretty fucking cool. But, um... I don't really know what else to say. Hopefully the next game I let's play is not a hundred hours long, please. <laughs> Fucking god, please. Uh, good game. And I think I said it just randomly one at one point. This game walked so GT7 could run. And this this definitely has a, a deserves its place in the franchise. Four months ago. Uh, but. For the YouTube audience, that's where I'm going to end it here. I'm sure this final segment is actually going to be pretty short because I'm going to cut out all the like failed attempts out of the nearly four hours of driving. Um, but 
Hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. I think this was the first one that I started with my new just full VOD format instead of actually segmenting everything. It was kind of a rough transition. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed regardless. And uh, whatever game I choose from this, f from this uh, shelf here, uh, hopefully you look forward to that, and we'll see you next time.